Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. All right, so we're back for Mystical Agriculture. One thing that I just noticed uh, was the, I checked out my, this is literally minutes after setting up the sieving system. Uh, not even more than 30 minutes in between. And these are, are all the ore pieces that I've already gotten. I, I was shocked. I was completely flabbergasted because these are going straight into my ME system and filling up the drives. So uh, before I go show you the drawers, I have been putting this off too long. I need a station gravity controller. I absolutely need this because I'm so tired of hitting these items or when I'm trying to do the wall work and it throws me up in the air and I float around. So I know this is ugly. I had to wrap it really quick. I needed to put these in drawers real quick. I put them in drawers. So now the sieving is going into the drawers. The drawers have void upgrades so that when I hit the max for the drawer, it'll void the rest. Uh, I didn't want it to overflow these drawers and then go back into the into the ME system. That would not solve the problem. So all of the ores are now going into drawers. I have them over here as well. Void upgrades, I have them over here as well. Void upgrades. And I'm going to add the uh, emerald upgrades to these drawers um, because like I don't wanna lose out on, on these, on the ores themselves, you know, like, uh, the, especially the nuclear craft. I mean, I remember I was running around with a scanner, scanning the ground, trying to find these super veins so I can put down my digital miner because I needed 300 lithium, for example. And now I'm sieving, so I'm getting the lithium ore. So uh, that one is definitely going to get emerald upgrades. And magnesium, I'm pretty sure there's magnesium diboride and stuff like that for endgame I need to worry on. But what I'm super, super excited for, which I've been getting towards, because the last objective was mystical agriculture. I wanted the master infusion crystal. Uh, I'm doing a side quest right now for the infinity booster card, but I'm not ready, prepared. I'm not prepared yet for the anglocyte. So I wanted to do the station area controller real quick. Let's put it right here for right now. We'll move this one drawer. Um, the station area, hopefully it'll cover everywhere I need to go because it's kind of super frustrating to uh, be bouncing around all the time. So station area, I'll probably move this to the bridge when I have that up and running. Station gravity controller, target gravity 10. Artificial gra- does this thing not need power? Oh yeah. Target gravity, 100. This thing doesn't need power! Hey! Surprise. It's the little things that count, really. It really does. So this thing's gonna generate all the way up to artificial gravity so that I don't float around- Oh, okay. I'm also- I'm already not floating around anymore as atrociously as before. So, sieving. We have that down. Let's go, uh, downstairs. Mystical Agriculture. This is where I have the garden cloches set up. And I believe I already went over it. These are the four Inferium essences that we got as quest rewards. They're being fed into the crafter, which are making all of my in, uh, all of my essences. Insanium, of course, is what I pull out because that one can be reverse crafted all the way down to all of these other things that we need. So what I wanted to add, uh, I made wood seeds. So let me get rid of one of these for now. Get rid of the infernium and I'll make wood seeds. Hmm, I could, but let's not because then the inferium seeds are gonna be going into the crafter and that's not where I want them to go. Um, let's see, can I make more cloches? Cloche, 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 cool. I need treated wood, I need ejector upgrades. I need tin plates. Oh wow, 
thousand. Uh, let's do, I don't know, five. Sounds good. Cloche. So the thermionic fabricator with glass, we need LV wire connectors. We'll do eight. Let's do three more. And then we need treated wood, 16 heavy engineering block. Treated wood, we have it down pat now, guys. 16, and we need heavy engineering, which I can, uh, I've been replicating them with uh, UU matter. That's that, and then we need the thermionic. I brought it with me, I think. There it is. The thermionic fabricator, and then we need sand. And then, should we do an ME, any ME interface? Yeah. ME interface for that as well. So, let's see. Where should I put this guy? Should I put this guy here with these guys? I don't think I have any anything cable-wise down here yet. Got the sink. Ugh. Hate seeing the sink. Okay, what's this? These are cables. And they are 8 out of 8. Nice. And this one should be... Okay, yeah, that's 8 out of 32 over here. So it could go under. I left room here. What is this? Hi. That's the P2P right there. So let's run a cable. Should I just run another P2P down for downstairs? Yeah. This is running one P2P channel uh, along the magenta. Magenta. Smart cable magenta. And then let's just connect here and run you down. And I promise you guys that the next series that I do is going to have much better cabling because I'm going to have the entire building already set. And then, yeah, let's do a P2P channel here. And let me open this up so I know where I am. P2P channel cable. P2P channel here. And then I need to grab my memory card. Shift right click to empty it, and let's go. Let's find another P2P that's open. The white ones are the open ones. Let me grab the next one in line. Shift and spacebar and right click. That's the P2P I want to move through the channel. And I want you to move. Whoa. I want you to move right here, buddy. Right click. Nice. So now we have that 32 channels coming out all the way over here. Uh, now, this guy needs two dense cables so that I have space to move. Let's see, where are my dense cables? I should have some, yeah. Two, and then one, two. That gives me the space that I can pull out with, uh, with dense cables. Let me open this up so I can see. terrified that I'm going to hold down my vein miner because if I vein mine I'll open myself up to the cosmos into space. Sounds terrible. So I want to run the cloches along here. And it would make sense for me to do the thermionic fabricator up high then. So let's see, can I do one up higher? One up higher, okay. And then let's see, how should I do this? Let's go, We ha I have more purple cable. 
we'll go purple cable for now and then yeah everything I do that uh, that seems really poorly wired I always end up going back and cleaning it up I'm just rushed for time when I put these things together so we need the ME interface so we can feed the items into it and so I can double duty this ME interface for the thermionic fabricator uh, let me put the thermionic fabricator here and then I'm going to use my Certus quartz wrench like that and click it's always the opposite direction so patterns will be fed into this cloche and this might be temporary I might remove this when I get my uh, my groove sand there we have all of these that makes eight so it needs power and it needs a lever for on and off or I can just leave it on because power is not a problem so let's put a bird on it put a bird on it there we go you power nice and purple purple can you tell that my favorite color is purple all right so now it is slowly raising the sand and then I can manually redo the sand like I'm not that crazy about that and yeah cleaning up cables is gonna be more important later uh, so yeah that's gonna be making our cloches for right now I'm and I'm hoping that's enough liquid oh they might not be able to stack uh, cloches I have made the wood seeds already in advance because it was super important for me wood seeds if you highlight them with you uh, wood seeds make wood essence so you on wood essence makes oak spruce birch jungle or acacia dark oak it just matters what pattern you put them in combine it with nature you can get oak you can get saplings that's what I mean combine them with nature essence you can make saplings let's see and then yeah that's that's the extent of and then uh, you also need you can use any tier one to upgrade into aluminum but yeah don't worry about that yet we're gonna focus on tier one tier one seed so I already did wood and the crafting pattern that I have in the pattern in the storage in the ME system for patterns the pattern that I use is spruce these three that's the pattern so whenever I run out of wood it knows to grab the wood essence and make spruce and I think I have a ridiculous amount of spruce yeah 140,000 spruce saved up already and that's just from you know going to work and uh, leaving it on while I'm at work that and it auto crafted the spruce wood so I don't even know if I can use that much wood to be honest I don't even know but wood wood seeds uh, let's go tier one no no just tier one seed let's do that's the crafting seed inferium seed we don't need stone seeds maybe dirt seeds let's see do I need dirt seeds dirt essence makes dirt grass dirt podzol gravel gravel I can make gravel for and that can continuously feed dirt and stone makes gravel mycelium oh the mushrooms require dirt mushrooms I don't need that many of them but it's kind of annoying needing to find those I can make clay and make sand alright so let's make some dirt dirt seeds okay how much do I have okay I'm only missing the tier 1 crafting seed so base crafting seed with prosperity let's make a stack oh I guess I haven't processed my prosperity prosperity ores craftable I haven't set it I don't need more than 32 right now though uh, so let's go back tier one and now we should be able to make tier one crafting seeds 
34. That works great. And then let's go dirt. Nice. So dirt, wood. Let's make the stone. All right. And it's, yeah, tier one crafting seed, inferium essence, and stone. Like, it's it's a joke. So, inferium, stone, dirt, nature. I do want to make nature because nature makes all of... Nature makes nature essence. Cactus, sugar cane, pumpkin, melon, wheat potatoes, carrots, beetroot, cocoa beans, which can be turned into brown dye, the mushrooms, stones, apples, the saplings. If I want to make saplings, I can use infinite saplings for liquid DNA, netherwort, chorus fruit, minerals. Yeah. So yeah, I'll make the nature, which I need these nature cores. One, two, three, four which is wheat, sugar, cactus, and pumpkin. Uh, thanks to Trin, I have all of them. And what, what are we missing? The top two, which are blocks of inferium. And nature seed, okay. So that's wood, dirt, stone, nature. Okay, so yeah, stone, dirt, nature, wood, water. Water sounds good. Let's see, water seeds, water essence, I can combine it with buckets to make water buckets. That sounds great. So yeah, I want to definitely want that. Do I? Oh, I have four water buckets. Lucky, lucky, lucky. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we made eight. Good. Ice seeds. Do I need ice seeds? Let's see. They are a lag spike. Mm, ice essence. Snow ice. Packed ice, that doesn't sound too interesting. That's really all I need it for, snow, ice, packed ice. If I need it, I can go back to it. Zombie seeds. Zombie essence makes rotten flesh. I think if I melt rotten flesh, I can get blood. And then if I make an ender tank, or if I build it right next to the blood altar, I can make an endless supply of blood. I won't have to use the solium dagger to stab myself. Zombie heads, and zombie heads and flesh is the only thing it makes. Zombie heads are used for... Dude. Necrodermal virus? <laughs> oh, cool. Computer, you can make Minecraft heads. Cloud Hunter's head. <laughs> head. Oh, nice. You can make the Minecraft people's heads. I didn't know that you could do this. With their skeleton skull. Seems like a waste. Powered spawners. This doesn't seem to... Zombie doesn't sound too interesting either. So ice and zombie, I'll just skip those. I don't need those. And if I need them later down the line, it, it'll be uh, fairly simple. So yeah, they don't stack. Bummer. Oh, but it's instant now that it's heated up. Now they stack. Okay. That's eight. Cool. So let's put these eight down in a row. Boop, bap, blap, and uh, shwoobity whoop. All right. And I can run the cable along the top because power goes on along the top. And power, 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 power. More power, some power, and power. In the wrong direction, thank you. <laughs> There we go, that's power, and then yeah, I need to run water along the back. Be careful not to vein mine. Water, fluid. Fluid, 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 fluid. You get some fluid, and you get some fluid, and you get some fluid. And insert. And insert. Ow. And insert. And insert. And insert. Insert and insert. And some more insert. Cool. 
So those are all set now. Maybe I'll do something nice in the background to these things. I need dirt. Dirt. Let's grab a stack. Let's just do this. All right. And water seeds. What's great is you can put fertilizer in the bottom of these things, but you don't have to. And since I leave this AFK while I'm at work during the day, I don't need these to be fast. I'm a slow player. I am not a gotta go fast player. Uh, the next one will be the nature seeds. Not there. Oh, Lucian Zero. Or is it a Lucian O? Thank you so much for the follow. That means a lot to me. All right, nature seeds. We got stone seeds. We got dirt seeds. And we have wood seeds. It's kind of funny that we're planting dirt seeds in dirt. <laughs> dirt essence. Oh man, I gotta pipe these because these are filling up. Uh, I need to get the Yetta wrench. Yetta wrench? Yetta wrench. Yes. Crafting terminal. Let's go. Put the frame drawer away. And put my wrench away. And put these two pipes away that I don't need anymore. These are item filters. Go away. Yet a wrench. And item conduits. And let me click you. Nope. Shift click you. Yeah. And then remove that because I don't want you to go into this. Did you? Negative. Cool. So you did not go in there yet. And Extract always active. You, you, you. You, you, you. And you. Where's the break? There's the break. Extract always active. Extract always active. Extract always active, and extract always active, and extract always active, and repetition. Extract always active, extract always active, and it, it's cool because the color that you choose and the direction, extract, instract, uh, extract, insert, it shows arrows in the color that you choose. I like that. So now we need to do this thing and run a cable up. And maybe I'll make this look nicer later. One up, one over, one up, and one up. And then we can do an insert, always active. And now all of these bad boys should be emptying. Yes, they're all emptying. Nice. And let me hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be worried about uh, them forming stacks just yet. So wood and nature and dirt and stone. Did we do four and water? There we go. Water. Let me put you in drawers. Earth. Dirt nature and I already made wood I forgot about that so that's those nice mystical agriculture let's see Cra luminescence do I, I let's just make some luminescence since I saw that that craft button is highlighted that'll save me some crafting time when I make uh, crystal time later so cool now we have essences coming in Water, stone, dirt, nature, stone, water, wood. Awesome. Let's go. Uh, I can hit it eventually. Let's see. Nice. The gr uh, gravity, it's working because now I'm not flying around like a, like a person that does not weigh anything. 
almost said something bad. But PG. Or pieces going well. Bam. Or pieces. Essences. And then let me do one more. Let me see. Pattern. Essence. Luminescence. Fluix Pearl. Pattern. Crafting. Spruce. Spruce Wood. Essence. I don't think I made this pattern. I think I just put them into a uh, an ender chest and I pumped it full. So yeah, that's a crafting pattern. So let's go molecular assembler. Put you right here. And now when I search essence, no, it doesn't show. So maybe I already have it. Molecular assembler. Let's see if there's a wood pattern in here. Wood, 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 wood. Wood, wood, wood. Wood, wood, wood. Are you in here? Since I can't search you. Making sure. Look, 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 look. There's the one I just put down for 16. Nice. Okay. So now, endless supply of uh, passively generated wood essence, which turns into an endless supply of spruce wood, which with the sawmill turns into an endless supply of planks, as well as rosin. And uh, that's a win. That really is a win. And then whenever I run into things that I'm missing, like let's say clay, for example, uh, I should have the patterns I need for clay. Just as an example, that's the one that popped into my head. So let's say clay. I don't need clay right now, but if I wanted to get more clay, I can do the water and dirt essence. Since I'm getting free water essence now and free dirt essence, I can make free clay this way as well. So that's neat. I really like that. I'm really excited. That's the tier one seeds, which are now passively generating. Tier one seed. Cool. So that's the tier ones. Uh, what's great is on a later date, probably after I finish making the infinity booster card, I'll go into tier two seeds. Tier two seeds have uh, fire seeds, which I can make the lava buckets with. That's important. Dye seeds. I don't think, I think dye seeds will be able to make all of the different color dyes because I know a couple of episodes back I was doing all of this high-tech stuff and then I was gated behind something like yellow dye or something silly so I had to fly around and pick daisies. Coal seeds, also an option that I knew about. Coal seeds could have done our coal supply. Pig seeds, chicken seeds make the drops. Cow seeds, sheep seeds, slime seeds is important uh, so that I can make uh, infinite slime, slime balls. Sulfur seeds is nice. Aluminum seeds, copper seeds, Mystical flower seeds, marble seeds, limestone, bisalt, appetite. Never need appetite, but appetite, I could make unlimited fertilizer and then export those into the cloches to make the seeds grow faster, but I don't need fast. Mineral seeds, that's nice. Slate seeds. Let me check one thing real quick. Certus seed. Oh, snap, look at that. Certus quartz seed is a tier three which I have this altar, Certus Quartz, I can make this. So yeah, like this one Certus Quartz seed can cover our missing Certus from uh, sieving the common ores not giving us Certus. So this Certus Quartz seed, there we go, gives us Certus Quartz Essence, which makes uh, can make the calculation press cool. Don't need it, but that's cool. But yeah, it'll it'll make us the cert all of the certus, all of the certus. So we can we can do that, and I'll go 
uh, up the tiers with y'all in future episodes. But next episode, we'll be going back to finishing this bad boy. Uh, I'm probably next episode is going to be the 15 pedestals and the combination crafting for the anglocyte we need for the infinity booster cart. So on that note, uh, Twitch chat, thank you so much for watching. And everyone that is watching the video on YouTube, thank you so much. We're at 31 subscribers, so only 970 to go before I can monetize the channel. So subscribing is free, liking is free, commenting is free. All of those make me very happy. If you can take your time out to doing those things, uh, that would greatly, I would be very, very, very appreciative for that. And then, of course, like there's uh, an option to donate at the bottom, but I'm not pushing for that at all. Uh, every all proceeds for the channel go towards making the channel better, like uh, better microphones, better background, whatever. Just leave me comments on how y'all think I should improve the stream and the channel. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow.